So I'm going to work on the second clip here first. I'm going to select it. I know it's selected because it has the yellow bar all the way around the clip. And let's change the out point of the clip. I want this clip to be shorter. Okay. Very simple to do. I'm going to take my mouse and I'm going to hover over the end of that yellow bar. And you'll notice the icon changes to an edit out point icon. That's what it's called. You don't need to know it. It's just what it's called. Um, what really tells you what it is is the way the bracket on the icon is facing. It's a close bracket, right? So it's going to change the out point of this clip. If I click and drag, I can physically manipulate when this clip is um, cut, the out point. And you can tell the numbers up here, the first set of numbers tells you what the duration of the clip is. So this clip is one minute, or sorry, one second, 23 frames, right? The second set of numbers tells you how many clips you are either removing or adding to when you first started trimming the clip. So it's saying that I removed nine frames. If I move, remove one more frame, I've now removed 10 frames, and now my new duration is 1 second 22. Okay? So if I let go, it's complete. Now my new clip is shorter, and there we go. So how does this affect other clips on the timeline? Right? So it's kind of an important question. So I have this other clip, the first clip, and I'm going to change the out point of that one. And this will show you the power of the magnetic timeline from Final Cut. So I'm going to click and drag, and notice what it does to the second clip. It starts moving with it, right? Remember, for those that worked in Final Cut Pro 7, if you were to do the same trim, the second clip would just stay where it was, and it would leave a black nothing there. So if you were to play your timeline, you'd have clip, 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 all of a sudden nothing, and then it would play that second clip. So this is very helpful, especially when students are really starting to learn how to edit, and there will be like one frame of black in FCP7 when, when they didn't know that the clips were not all the way touching. This solves that problem. Okay. So let's, with that in mind, let's talk about the very first clip on our timeline, right? If I wanted to trim the end point, same thing. I just hover my mouse over in the end. Uh, when I say end, I'm saying I in as an in. Uh, notice the bracket. It's now an open bracket, right? So it's opening to the left. And I can click and drag. And notice what it's doing to this darker area ahead the background, it is actually changing the timeline's end point. So all I'm doing is changing the time I want the clip to begin to start playing, and it just updates the timeline for you and says, okay, well, that's your first clip in the timeline. Let's start the timeline there. And that's the magnetic timeline. Okay, So that's how to trim your in and out points on the timeline. However, the way Final Cut Pro wants you to edit is it actually wants you to edit in the browser. So I'm going to go over that really quick to see maybe you don't like to edit on the timeline. Maybe you'll find this way easier. Okay. So I'm going to delete all my clips on the timeline so I have nothing on there. I'm just going to click and drag, highlight all of them, and then hit the delete key. I'm going to select a clip up here. For instance, I'll select my Anton Brown clip here. Notice the yellow range. It has the whole clip selected. If I were to bring this clip down, that means it would drag the whole clip down to the timeline. Well, I can set what's known as in and out points here. There's a couple ways to do it. Uh, I'll do the drag and drop method. If I hover my mouse over the first uh, section of the clip here, you'll notice the icon changes to two arrows. That basically means I can 
move this uh, range around if I want. So I can click and drag and look what it does. It basically allows me to uh, select the range on this clip that I want to bring down. Right? So let's say I want to start there. I also have this vertical bar, this kind of reddish pinkish bar here. This is your skim bar, your skim tool. Um, it shows you whatever frame your mouse is at. It'll show you on your viewer here, which I, I'm zoomed in so you can't see it, but um, it shows you the, the viewer. You can set in and out points by either hitting the I key, which is for in, or O for out. And it will set that point wherever that skim tool is. So for instance, I have it here. I'm going to hit the O key. And now it automatically changes the out point of that range. Okay. So let's give a real world example. You have a kid in front of your camera. You've recorded. They are about as good on camera as I am. And they've messed up 18 times. And they got one of them that you liked. Instead of bringing your whole five minute long clip down to the timeline, you can find where she started that was good. OK, here it is. I'm going to hit I and go, OK, she was good, 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 good. Here's the end of her sentence. Oh. And then you would just click one of your insert, append, or connect shortcuts. So for instance, E. And now that pre-edited clip is now on the timeline. 